uh, an old white man loses his job. Mm. Leo, yeah. are, are you worried? Yeah, I, I am, and, and we, we should all be worried on this mm. panel. But, um, yeah, Mark Lawrence, the, the sports commentator, he claims the BBC dropped him because he's 65 and a white male. Mm. Although, to be honest, 65, that's retirement age. So, you know, that, that might be a good time to, to drop people. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's covered six men's World, World Cups for the BBC, uh, said that the corporation is frightened to death of upsetting anybody. In all my time at the BBC, nobody ever said, you can't say this or that, but the woke thing drives me bonkers. I've been here for 20-odd years. I think I might know what to say and what not to say. Uh, so, yeah, he, he blames the sort of woke culture and him getting sacked. But then, you know, is he actually that good at sports commentating? Isn't there also an element sometimes where these people think they're just owed a living for the rest of their career? Like Alan Partridge. Mm. Yes. Well, he was replaced by a female who he says, she's doing real well the best she can. He speaks very patronisingly about her. <laughs> and so she can, she's, she can barely keep up. But we all do our best to, you know, help her out. And, and he, he did say in one interview, I, you know, I didn't interrupt her. I didn't. I tried not to. I mean, you know, it was her interview. So, I, yeah, it's her interview and it's her gig. Can so I, back off. Uh, can I just quickly cancel myself yeah. and say that I think that if it's women's football, mm. I'd like to see female players or ex-female managers commentating on it. Mm -hmm. And if it's men's football, I'd see men talking about it. Is that a crime? It, no. It's, if I just it's, cancelled myself? No, then? it's just sexist. I, just, I don't think that... The gender it matters at all when people are talking really? about sport. I, I'm not. Yeah, but really... I, I think when you watch Sky and it, it's like, let's say it's the Champions League, mm -hmm. you know, and the people in in the uh, in the gallery are Rio Ferdinand, who won the the, the you know the European Cup with Manchester United, mm -hmm. and Graham Souness, Liverpool legend. You know, these people that have been there got the T-shirt, mm -hmm. uh, and then you tick the box by having, let's say, a female soccer player there. It was like, well, it's it's. Yeah. It's the male game. And people, people say that, that you know, oh, the, the female uh, soccer team did amazingly well, they beat Germany or whatever, and it's like, yeah, but they were playing the German women's team. It's not the same. It's much easier. When I got, I mean, just to balance it out, is it, I would say that if, if it was women's tennis, let's imagine that Serena Williams is playing Emma Raducanu. I'd like to, I'd like in, in the uh, gallery, I'd like Martina Navratilova yeah. and... I don't know, um, uh, uh, Billie right. Jean King. Right. Right? It was like, well, they bloody won everything. Yeah. Mm. And they're talking about people that are now playing. I watch a lot of volleyball, which is a very popular sport in every other Me country too. other than this one. And, the, the, you know, I was watching women's co competition today. You're watching women's what? Women's competition. competition. Glad you finished that word. And thank you. And um, I, did, I did swallow it. And, it, you know, there were men and women commenting on that. Mm. And I had no problem with it. I, I'm not okay. quite sure why you two do, too. It, it's strange All to right. me. It's just a sport and they're just people. I guess you're right. I think you make a fair point and I will reflect on that. Um, let's have a look at Monday's Independent. It sounds like victim blaming Ukraine isn't good for ticket sales, Scott. I don't think you're going to reflect on that. I feel like oh, you're lying. No, no, definitely. Um, no, no, no. I think that's, uh, you know, it, it is a point. Yeah. Have a chat with your wife about if she's still talking to she's you. Gonna, she's going to re-educate me. Don't worry about that.